notification in services can be sent containing KPIs. Email can contain various information and even KPIs like priority which in some case is a key KPI, types of SLA associated with the ticket, MTA that is mean time to acknowledge and MTTR that is mean time to resolve regarding a ticket. Notification methods. The types of notification supported by CA service desk are pager, email, fax server, etc. Request to email. Service desk has an option which can be configured to create a request, change order, incident, problem or a issue via email. This option is called mail eater. For example, assume that I have an issue with the services provided to me and I need to create a request with service desk. I don't need to log in. All I can do is that email, send an email to the service to address to service desk in a defined format. Now let's take a look at the reports. Now this is a report showing all the KPIs. In the Vodafone scenario, it's SLAs. The first report shows request to be violated today. It means that this ticket has reached its warning flag. Like within two minutes, like within four minutes, it's going to get violated. The second report says events to expire today. These are the various flags which are, or you may call the conditions, which may get expired. Like check whether status is acknowledged or check whether status is um, resolved or check whether status is RFC, etc. RFC stands for request for change. And the third report shows requests violated today. It shows all the requests whose SLS have not been made, hence they have been violated. Some of the out-of-the-box reports, like this report, show categorizes all the tickets or the incidents with priority. And then it says whether that particular ticket is closed or open and if it's closed, closing in how many number of days? For example, look at this priority 4. Total incidents in priority number 4 are 2. Closed is 1, 1 is open. And the one which is closed, it took around 3 days to get closed. And this report shows activities by analyst. Over here, you can see the top 10 analysts. That is the top 10 analysts who are handling the maximum number of calls. It also includes priority, like over here. Fernandez, Morris, Gosh, that is me. And the fourth report, it categorizes tickets on based of the categories or the incident areas like password resetting, IE setting, applications, reboot server, hardware, email. Now this report is a custom report. It's not out of the box. You have to develop this report. It's a crystal report. It shows number of calls per location. Like when I run this report, I'll have to enter the start date and the end date. I'll get a report. Now this report says I've got five calls from a location called New Heaven, one call from the location called Yonkers, 19 calls from the location for, called Garbiar, Graybar. The second custom report it shows number of calls per time period. It says that from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. how many calls were logged into service desk or how many tickets were created into service desk. It says around 448 tickets were created from 9 a.m. to 7 a.m. From here I can see or judge which one is the peak hour. And I can easily say from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. is the peak hour because it says the maximum number of tickets recorded or logged on service desk are from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Service. A wide range of services can be created in service desk. For example, set of questions or just a feedback or both. Service can be associated with various KPIs like priority, service types, etc. Different type of service can be associated with different type of KPIs. For example, a survey called rate the technician can be associated with priority one or a survey called feedback can be associated with a service type called platinum. Service can be sent anytime in CA service desk service can be sent to a user at any stage of the request but by default it's configured to be sent only when a request is closed or resolved as per ITIL service level managers analyze various types of survey reports to rate customer satisfaction it's
Question reports, or rather I should say business object reports, to generate all the various types of service so they can find out the customer or uh, user satisfaction score like this survey. Uh, not this one, like for example, Gina had created a ticket called NOC reset. Now once that ticket gets closed, she will get this survey by her email and she will get a link. Once she clicks on that link, the survey will open up and it will ask her like, was the installation a success? She might say yes or no. Then it will ask her what type of installation was it or something like that and her feedback and then they will just submit. Now this is the crystal report which I was talking about or business object reports. This SLM's uses to rate customer satisfaction score. It shows how many services were sent and how many services were completed. It says seven services were completed. The survey name install mouse were sent to the survey name SD survey were total in five which were sent out of service desk and what are the scores like was the installation on a success two people have said yes means all of them have said yes because they were too early and what type of installation was it now is your issue or problem resolved this says well, this one is said by the SD survey this is the question was the help desk good in assisting you and they will answer. So from this, the service level managers can say whether their users are happy with service desk and their processes and the processes defined by them.